This week in the galley, we're in West Los Angeles, right across the street from the Improv on Melrose at the Red O Restaurant. And standing next to me is the head chef here, Chef Anthony. Thanks for inviting us over, man. No worries, no worries. And Chef Anthony reached out to us. We put a post on our Facebook page looking for some chefs to do cooking segments for us. And he was kind enough to help us out. And what do you have in store for us, Chef? Today we're going to be doing our lobster dish that we have here at the restaurant. Um, we have a West Coast lobster. We're going to bring it out. Um, first, because uh, the shell's nice and hard, right? So we want to pierce through the skin, crack it all the way down, flip it around, and we're going to do back the same thing. So you get two halves nice set there. We're going to pull out the lobster from the shell. OK, so you got a nice little color there. We can do that to both. We're going to hit it with olive oil and salt. So from here, we'll lay it down right onto the grill. OK, so from here, we're going to saute our uh, white Mexican rice with a uh, fennel broth that we make here in-house. In so it's basically water with fennel seed that we saute and a little bit of cilantro as well. Uh, we blend that together and create this broth. Now once, once we blend it together, we, we definitely strain it so uh, that the seeds are, aren't incorporated too much into the liquid. We went ahead and roasted a little while ago uh, fennel and uh, knob onions. So it's, knob onions are larger uh, Mexican onions that we use here in the restaurant. So once we get that nice and brown, uh, we let it sit aside, heat it up again right before we knock out the dish. While that's working, I'll go ahead and grab the lobster tail, just because it's a little bit thicker. We'll go ahead and get them nicely set here on the sizzle plates. As you can see, you get nice good grill marks on them. All right. Then from here, we'll go straight into the oven so they can finish and cook all the way through. Um, I know I said all the way through, but I, same with fish and lobster and seafood like that. We, we like to make sure that we still work with the medium consistency. You don't want to have dry lobster tails. You don't want to have dry uh, shrimp. It all goes hand in hand the same way you would cook a medium rare steak. We're going to pull out the lobster. Check the doneness. That looks nice. We're going to start off by building the plate with the rice, with the fennel broth. So that's a nice good layer of it right in the center of the plate. We're layering the lobster right onto the dish. Okay, got a nice good build right into the center. Then we'll go ahead and we'll layer our fennel and roasted onions around the dish. And then we finish it off with a tahini butter sauce. So basically it's a, a citrus butter sauce that we finish the dish off with. This is our purple watercress and our fennel fronds and our lime garlic dressing. Give it a good toss. Always, always season. Good toss together. And to finish it off right in the center of the dish. There you go. Sexy lobster and rice. All right, I gotta try this out. This looks so good. Mm. I always love lobster, but that sauce you added on that butter sauce, what exactly is in that? So we use tahini salt. So in Mexico, it's like a citrus, a citrus salt that they make. Um, so we get heavy cream and butter, combine them together, and then finish it off with the tahini salt on top. And I guess this is a signature just here at the Red O restaurant? Definitely is. Yeah, this is really good. Thank you, Chef Anthony. Thanks for coming by. It's really good. We're at the Red O restaurant on Malrose here in West LA. Beautiful dish. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.